This week, A Taste of Britain is about pilchards. Forget the stuff in tins with thin tomato sauce, because Cornish fresh pilchards are back in a big way. Most people don't actually realise pilchard is another name for the sardine. You know, the delicious, tasty morsel you eat straight off the barbie on that Mediterranean beach holiday. Yep, the modest little pilchard has been spruced up and made over for the 21st century, reinventing itself as the Cornish sardine. Fishing has always been a huge business down here, an ancient craft, with Cornish sardines pilchards one of the main catches. Surrounding them and scooping up nature's harvest, three million fish at a time. They'd eat them fresh or preserve them in cellars or in barrels for export. While other fish are in serious decline, the Cornish sardine is going strong. I'm joining Cornish pilchard fisherman Stefan Glinski on his boat, the Pride of Cornwall, for his nightly trip out of Newlyn in southwest Cornwall. So how far are we going out? We, we obviously don't know that We yet. don't know where, where the pilchards are going to be. Sometimes they're right in on the beach, sometimes they're maybe three or four miles away. We've got the, the electronic equipment, the sonar there. Pilchards give a really strong echo because they've got an air bladder inside them which reflects right. sounds better. You see old birds sitting around and tell me there's a bit of fish around. They're, they're, they're the best ones to tell me what fish are, is about. Stefan fishes in the traditional way, by night so as not to alert the fish. Out there you can just about see a, a shiny sort of 200 yard stream that goes past the boat. That is the pilchard oil that comes off the fish. Now they're way up there, but the pilchard oil comes down this way and that is how you can tell the old way that there was um, pilchards here. Yep, yeah, found one. I'm going to shoot in a minute. Just now, as we're moving along, there's about five tonnes of fish that's gone right underneath us. Five tonnes, can you imagine that? We're actually going ahead of the speed now. The, the, the net's just flying out. Quickly to stop the fish going off. It's actually really exciting. The birds are making a bit of noise out there, so there's probably a bit of fish. The fish are darting everywhere. And, and the seagulls are all on the edge of the net for some reason, not in the inside. So obviously waiting for when the thing comes together and they get the fish. They're everywhere, they're just jumping everywhere. It's really exciting. Okay, showtime kids. <laughs> this little fish is incredibly good for you. It's packed full of omega-3, which is good for your heart, your brain, your lowest cholesterol. It's good for your skin, vitamin D, the whole thing. And it's also got as much calcium in this fish as in a glass of milk. To me, it's a super fish. Once, the landing of the catch would have been a real party. Young and old would process the sardines, salting them down. This is the oldest remaining pilcher works in the whole of the UK, and do you know what? Hardly anything has changed. The pilcher works is owned and run by Nick Howell. Yeah, so this is what uh, Stefan caught last night. Yep. So here we have fresh ones. And um, when I say fresh, I mean, here we are. Look, the lovely goldy colour on the top. Wow. Most of the scales on, all those metallic blues and oh, silvers that, that you get on the that, fish. Yeah. And see how fat it is. So what do you actually look for in a fresh fish, Nick? When they're first caught, the eyes you'll see will be fantastic and bright. Still, still nice and stiff, not floppy. In the colour of the gills, look, lovely red. Beautiful. Red sort of colour. When they're not so good, when they're going off, that'll start changing to brown. <laughs> do you know, that just smells so fresh. Yeah, they're great. There's oh, a lovely seaweedy just... fresh smell. OK, this is what happens next. The fish has come out of the bin, into here. Uh -huh. The lovely little machine, switch the water on, comes on round, it takes off the head, takes off the belly, cleans the bloodline out, cleans the cut out, and leaves the tail on. Now, I mean, if you can feed it fast enough, it's 250 fish a minute. 250 a minute? A minute, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. So you can imagine the labour it saves. Yes, you know, fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So. so these are all now ready to, to go just straight as they are on a barbecue, see? 
Many years ago, there was no way to keep these beautiful sardines fresh for the shops, so a technique was evolved to preserve them. It's an ancient process that carries on to this day at the Pilcher Works. Before electricity was discovered, the only ways of preserving uh, fish, meat, vegetables was drying or salting. Salty, yeah, you're right. This burying of fish in salt for up to two years at a time is a unique sight now. Here in Newlyn, it's the only place where it's still done. It's a two for one deal. As well as the preservation, the salt gives the pilchers a wonderful strong flavour. It's a lovely system, no electric bill. You know, it's just sitting there. And also, they, they look very good. Yeah, you wouldn't the think these still, are, yeah. look at that, the colour's still pretty you know, good. A lot of the colours are still on there, the scales are still on there. Yeah, it's a wonderful way of preserving. All this lovely liquid that you see here uh -huh. has come out of the fish. There's no water at all in here. We haven't added any water, no. This, this liquid is the uh, oil and water that has come out of the fish. It's a great name for this, isn't it? Gravy, yeah, this is the gravy. This is we the call gravy. it a gravy. Well, same colour as gravy. Fish is. gravy. Next stage of the process, is where we press some of that liquid back out again. After the lengthy salting, they go into a special vise for no more than five hours to remove moisture and oil. Look at that! It's great, isn't it? Then they're boxed and sent all over Europe, as they have been for the past 500 years or more. It's time to leave Nick to his preserving. I've got other fish to fry down on the beach. Look at these little crackers. They're just like you get on your Mediterranean holiday. But these, these are great, these are British, and they're fabulous.